Greetings, my son. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. The devil and this clock, they made me do things, horrible things. I can't live like this anymore, Father. Pray for my soul. No! It's been a long day, Father Bowden. I've but already told at least four officers what happened. Is all this really necessary? A man shot himself in your church, Father. A man we're trying to identify, so yes, it's necessary. I'm sorry, I, I just can't get it out of my head. I've never seen anybody. Can I get you anything? No. No, thank you. If we could just... You said earlier that you didn't know the man that shot himself. That's right. I'm not Catholic, so I don't know how these things work. Do you have to be a church member to attend confession? No, a confession is open to all Christians. But I cannot absolve a non-Catholic. Is it possible that the man was a member of your church? Yes, it's possible. We receive new members all the time. Can you tell me what he said in confession? No. Of course not. You cannot betray the penitent. Surely you must know that much. Well then, is there anything he said that you can share? Uh, come to think of it, we never really got down to the actual confession. So it's not a violation of the sacramental seal. It all happened so fast. He, um... Do you need a moment? No, I'm fine. He said that he had sinned, that the devil made him do things, that the clock made him do things. This clock? Yes. Sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? Perhaps there are stories of such a clock. And my father, God rest his soul, told me when I was a child. My father wasn't a good man younger years. He got mixed up with the wrong people. The job he was doing went sour. What he thought was just petty theft turned into murder.
I changed him, made him think about his life, about his choices. After that night, he mended his ways and turned to the church. I'm hoping we have a case you're describing on file. It, it might help. Anyway, you were saying? They do know what it was they were supposed to steal. It was a package from Germany. He said that it, the thing inside, was evil. Evil? Was it some sort of weapon or...? No, no. He, he said that he could feel it. He could feel something terrible was within the package. Said that he could hear it ticking. He believed it was a clock. I believe that is the clock my father told me about. Well, what makes you think that? I can feel it. I can feel an evil in its presence, just as my father did. Thank you, Father. I think we have what we need from you. It'd be wise to lock that thing away somewhere before it's too late. I'll, I'll see to it. You know, I know you don't believe what I told you. I can't blame you. Please, call me if you need help. Oh. Thank you. I'll do that. Here's my card. Please uh, call me if you remember anything helpful. The Lord be with you. Thank you, Father. You too. I'll see you all. Mrs. Harris, can you send him my next interview? Thanks. I did a quick search of our crime database for the word clock, and these are what I found. <laughs> Why would you do that? Our John Doe brought a clock into confession and shot himself. Yeah, because he's crazy. Uh, in the story! I wish it was that simple. I actually have the antique shop owner on his way up now. Checking the receipt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of the few things we have to go on. Good luck. Hey, Coop. Yeah. Could you try and find the full file in this cold case from 47? Sure. Thanks. Thanks for coming in. I'm Detective Harris. I was wondering if you could help us identify a man. I believe he was a customer in your shop. I recognize him. Sold him an old clock about a week ago. I never forget a face. Do you happen to know his name? Uh, no. Can't help you there. I remember faces, not names. Is this the clock you sold to him? Yes. Yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? You know, every time I see one of these old pieces, it reminds me of a long lost love. Your wife. She's beautiful. Yes. She died just over a year ago. Cancer. Do you have any idea why he'd be carrying her on a clock and a receipt from your shop? <laughs> Maybe he thought he could return it. <laughs> Do you believe in God, Detective Harris? I would imagine it would be very difficult for you having to deal with violence and so much evil day after day after day. It is. If you remember anything that might be helpful, please give me a call. Thanks for coming in. Yes. Detective Harris, you have a good day. Hey, Jenny. You home? Yep. Did you lock the door? Jenny. I will, I will, as soon as I finish eating. Promise me. I said that I will. How was school? Like school? Homework all done? Dad, I'm not 12. I know you're not. Is your homework done? I always get my homework done, Dad. Nope, I'm good. I'm gonna be late, so I'll see you in the morning. Okay.
game. Bye. Ravens Glen Psychiatric Hospital, how may I help you? Yes, I'm trying to reach Dr. Scott. I'm sorry. Dr. Scott is not available at the time. Uh, that's fine. Uh, this is Detective Harris with the Ravens Glen Police Department. I need to speak to Dr. Scott about an ongoing investigation. I'd appreciate a return call today. I can have Dr. Scott call you as soon as possible. Thank you. Right. Yeah, I got it. I, this is crazy, all right? I, I can't think, okay? All I know is that he's gonna be pissed. So what? We'll be long gone. Yeah, but... But nothing, but nothing. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to relax. <sighs> You're freaking out for no reason. I'm gonna be so calm. Easy. We get the money tomorrow morning, and then we go to Canada. I can't believe it. I get the money and the girl. <laughs> I knew when you came to town that you were different. I knew I could count on you. Kevin's town, I mean. Well, you showed him, didn't you? He doesn't have a clue. So, how'd you get it, by the way? You mean dip the key? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, don't worry, your pretty little hat for detail. That's what I like to hear. Now, there's my man Carl, all right? We got a reason to celebrate. You on, babe, all right. I need to mellow. Hey, man. Yeah, man, what you need? What you got? White Widow might be just what you need. Cool. White Widow is cheapest, but the high gives you a nice, smooth high. With Northern Lights, it's laced with opium. Okay. Give a nice long high. Makes you want to hop on a cotton candy dragon and leap on a damn rainbow. <laughs> Give me a dime. Thanks, man. Carl, right? My friends call me K. K? That's Carl with a K. Hey, uh, you know a place where me and my girl can crash tonight? The house, about a half a mile away with the green shutters. It's been vacant for a long time. No one's gonna bother you there. Thanks, okay. It's empty because they say that uh, they found two dead bodies with their heads missing. <laughs> well, uh, nice doing business with you. <laughs> well, we're gonna get right tonight, baby. What is it now? Like I told you, Carl, just keep an eye on him. Yeah, that Michael kid, punk ass little shit. I intend to, Carl. Since when did you start telling me what to do? He gets me the drop location and the key. That's all I need from him. You know what I need from you. Now get it done. I think this is the place Kay told me about. Nobody's gonna bother us here. Kay? Yeah, you know, the, the, the guy. <laughs> Are you sure we're not gonna get caught? I'm sure. Come on. Mark, go figure. <laughs> Look at this dump. Here. You stay here. I'll, I'll find this way in.
Burn. Come on. Let's go. Don't do that. Charming. This place is creepy. Something really creepy happened here. <laughs> like what? Oh, well, we made up some story. You know, found uh, two bodies here with their uh, heads missing. <laughs> You're not serious? No, I don't believe it. Oh, you don't? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's fire this up and uh, see how scared we are. <laughs> the locker. Oh, mm -hmm. the train station. Yeah, and it's uh, ours. <laughs> I told you my plan would work. <laughs> Just you and me and a cool million. <laughs>
He's done. What a mess. Yeah. Like picking candy from a baby. But you're gonna have to get over here and clean up your mess. You talked to Carl already. In a locker room with the Y. I'm on my way over right now. Right. Hey, uh, I'll meet you there in 20. Yeah, I have a surprise for you, baby. Don't keep me waiting. Now you sure you heard him say that the money was in the locker at the train station, right? Do you see her? Take her back inside and keep her there. I'm on my way. So we're meeting at the Y, huh? Well, baby girl, things change. My man Kay heard every word. Just saying. My man Kay does exactly as I tell him to do. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, Kay? <laughs> it's time you learn you don't cross me and live. It's like somebody who can be played? All that money. <laughs> it could be yours. <laughs> it should be yours. You try. You sure try. I'll give you that. Trying to mess with the wrong man. Don't be his puppet. Take the key. Kill that person. Okay. Show what happens to bad little girls who don't do as they are told. Okay, that's fine, but how are you? I'm fine. If I need something, I'll let you know. Excuse me, this doesn't have a tag on it. Does that mean it's free? <laughs> no ma'am, sorry, that one's one thing. lady over there, I think she's looking for a bag. I'm gonna go ahead and close down this register. Where's Billy? In the back, of course. Oh, go then, I got her. Oh. Um, hi, can I help you? Sir? Hello? Good morning. Our turn? Okay, I can uh, help you with that. What, um, what are you returning? Good luck to make a return.
Um, are you? I'm not sure this. Is this from him? Well then, uh, do you do you have a receipt? Excuse me for just one second. Billy? Are you there? Billy? Billy? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just finishing up some paperwork. Um, How's, how's it going out there? We're, we're good, almost closed, but I have a weird question. What year did the store open? The 90s? Yeah, it's pretty much what I thought. I'm sorry, sir. It looks What are we doing out here? Leaving them bastards dry? I'm not even taking part in this metaphor. We have a weird day. What the hell is this? That is an interesting story. Some guy just left it here. Alright. I'll call corporate tomorrow, see what they want to do with it. I'll put it in lost and found for now. Did you close this? This one? Yeah, that one still needs to be closed. Alright, uh, I'll get cracking at it. Uh, can you guys, uh, straighten up the walls, clean the glass, and then take out the trash? On it. Thank you. Sons, I can do this. No, you can't, Billy. No, you can't. I can do it. I try. Why don't you try, though? That's too hard. You ready? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, uh, hit me back on the walkie when you want to be let back in. Oh, and watch out for the trash monster. <laughs> Seriously, though, those hobos, they'll bite. Hey, April. Yeah. I'm gonna go in the back, just get me when you're finished, okay? Got it. Yeah. Ugh. Ew. Disgusting jerks. April, was this hallway light out last night? Yeah, Billy said he was going to change the bulb today. Oh, well, thanks for taking care of that, Billy. Billy! He probably has his walkie off again. Yeah, big surprise there. So, uh, are you going out with that guy again? I don't know. Didn't I tell you what he said last time? No. Oh my god. Is it good? Oh, it was classic. Do you remember that girl that I'm friends with that works at the fish taco place? The girl with the net tattoo? Yeah. She said he came into her store one time and walked up to her and said... Alyssa? I think someone's here. What? Who? I don't know. I'm at the back door now, and I think there's someone at the end of the hallway. Down by the trash room. It's too dark to see. Here, let me let you in. Billy locked it. They're just standing there. I I can see their silhouette. Hurry. Okay. He's 
not back yet. Is he in the bathroom? Get him. I I think they're walking this way. Okay. He's not in here either. Wait, he's not in the front, back, or bathroom. Did he leave? He couldn't have left. April, quick, just call him. Call anyone. Call security something. Oh, okay. okay. Nothing. There's no line. What? Don't say that. Make it work. I can't see so well. I, I tried to ask who it is, but they're not responding. I can't get to my cell. The lockbox is locked. Billy's got the keys. April, they're coming this way. I'm gonna hide. There's those boxes there. Get behind the boxes. Huddle down. I think... Alyssa, shut up. You gotta keep quiet until... we can get the door open or until the person turns out to be maintenance. Billy, where the hell are you? April. No, 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 you gotta be quiet, quiet. I think they're right here. I can hear him breathing.
Phoebe was telling me to do these horrible, horrible things. You know I wouldn't do those things, April. You know that, right? Excuse me, I don't see a price on this one. Does that mean it's free? Here's that cold case file. It wasn't just cold, the damn thing was frozen. Thanks. More cold cases? Tell me what you see. Triple homicide at the shop near the inlet. Do you remember what she kept saying? She said that she heard voices that came from a clock. Graham. 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 You gonna get that? Harris. Detective Harris, this is Dr. Scott from Ravens Glen Psychiatry. Yes. Thank you for calling me back so quickly. I'd like to speak with you about a patient of yours. Logan Charles. I see. We believe she may have information related to an open investigation. I'm actually between sessions now, if you can come on short notice. Sure, I, I can be there in 15 minutes, if, if that works. Just have me page from the front desk and I'll bring you back. Thank you. Goodbye. You all right? You just kind of... Spaced out there for a minute. I'll be back. You, you need me to tag along? I guess that's a no. Detective Harris. Dr. Scott. Thank you for seeing me. Certainly. I understand you have some questions regarding Logan Charles. Yes. Uh, we actually identified some similarities in her case and our current investigation. See, I'd be happy to pull a file for you. That'd be very helpful. Thank you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. I was actually hoping that I could speak with her directly, ask her some questions. That's not going to be possible. What's going on? As you can see, Logan would not be very cooperative. She hasn't spoken since she arrived here two weeks ago. She's been unresponsive to all attempts to interact with her. She's completely unaware of everything around her. She just sits there, all day, drawing pictures of... The clock. How did you know that? Is this a clock in her drawings? Yes. The clock wants you now, Graham. You talking to somebody? Just thinking out loud. You're welcome, by the way. I'll put all the evidence up for you. I went to Raven's Glen Psychiatric Hospital today. Any leads on the John Doe case? I was hoping so. But now? Now I'm just not sure. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get a break. That's not what I mean. This is more than just coincidence, Coop. The patient I saw today at the hospital, 
she was just drawing the same picture over and over. It was this. She was drawing this clock. Well, that's obviously why she's there. What are you getting at, Graham? All of these cases I searched mentioned the clock. Not just any clock, this clock. You know, maybe you just need to take a break. Don't, from... don't give me that shit, Coop. Don't. Here, go through them. Go through them, Coop. If you still don't think there's a connection, I'll stop. Okay. Do you see what time it is? Don't you turn your back to me, Trey. I said, do you see what time it is? It's late. You may tell me where the hell you've been, and you better not say work, because I checked. I know you've been with her. I can smell that bitch on you. I don't have time for this, Sabine. Do you better make time, Trick? Because I'm not going through this again. So you got to throw us away, just like that. <laughs> just like that. Stop, Trey. I love you. She knows. So, what do we do? Just go our separate ways and pretend like we never happened? No, no, baby. That's, that's not what I mean. Do you love her? I don't remember ever loving her. All I know is I love you. It's like it's like we're meant to be. It feels so right when we're together. I don't feel that way when I'm with Sabine. What do we do? What is this to me? What does it look like to you, huh? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It is a woman trying to save her marriage. It is your wife. Wait. This isn't gonna fix us, to me. I mean, wine? Candles? We just don't. 
We don't work anymore. You know the funny thing is? Say it. Say it. What do you have to lose? We might as well get it all out in the open. Okay. I'll tell you. I'm not sure if we... I'm not sure if we ever worked. There's nothing here. I just don't love you anymore. I love you. I'm sorry, but don't I don't. Don't just say I'm trying to keep us. There is no us. Can't you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Whatever this, this is, it's over. I'm leaving. Then leave. Get out. supposed to mean? Trey! Stop! Do 
you love me? Tama Harvey. Tell me. I love you. You love me and only me? Yes. Prove it. Get on your knees. Now, beg. Beg that I take you back. Beg that I love you as much as you love me. Please, baby. I love you so much. I need to be with you. I need to be with my wife. I love you. Please, I love you. Enough! Come. Give me your left hand. Hang up the phone. Who's this? I, I'm sorry, you must have the wrong number. I said hang up the phone. I've got to go. Yeah. Oh. That, that woman's voice it sounds so, so familiar. I don't it was just the wrong number. To the one that you love. Like a fading dream, you can't remember her face. I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. Demand. I can tell. Trey. Sabine, I know you drugged me. 
Open the door! What is this? Hey? It's the only way, Trey. Can't you see? I tried to make the two of you forget about each other, but you and your whore kept breaking my spells. Kept finding each other. I can't let her take you from me. For us. No! This clock was found in the center of a pentagram with a dead woman nearby, stabbed in the back. Blade punctured her heart. And you think the clock had something to do with this? In some way, yes. I believe it did. Why? How? I don't know, but it's there. The damn clock, this clock, is there at every one of these crime scenes. There's a million of these. Made in China. 
Look at this sticker on the back. It was made in Germany, just like the priest said. Keep reading. Considering you haven't acted very responsibly lately, I... told I... you I studied for that test. The teacher's just a jerk. Hannah, you got a D. That's not like you. I still don't see why I need a babysitter. Well, I do. Dad, tell Mom I'm old enough to stay by myself. Hannah, sweetie, listen to your mother. End of discussion. <sighs> that must be the babysitter. Babysitter. I love you. Honey, this is Mrs. Grimm. Oh, thank you so much for coming on such short notice. My husband and I, we haven't been out in months. Our regular sitter had a family emergency and so she had to back out at the last minute, so you really are a lifesaver. No problem, dear. I'm just happy to help. Well, we left all the important phone numbers on the kitchen counter, and if you need anything, you can just call, and we should be back about 10. We need to get going, honey. Our dinner reservation's for seven. Okay, you two go have fun, and don't worry, everything will be just fine. You must be Hannah. You must be the babysitter I don't need. Gosh, I'm sorry you feel that way. I was hoping we could bake some cookies together later. Yeah, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to make them all by myself. Do whatever you want. Get out of my room. You have to come downstairs now. The babysitter's a witch. Such a little liar. I'm not lying, I swear. Like the time you said that there was a monster in your closet? I was five years old, Hannah. This is real. I'm not making it up. Sure you're not. Just come downstairs and let me show you. If I'm lying, I'll do your chores for a week. Make it a month. Deal. Now come on. I'm doing my chores. I smell <laughs> What do we do now? I'm calling Dad. Something's wrong. The call's not going through. Try texting him. Tell him they have to come home now. Did it work? I think so. What if he doesn't believe us? He has to. Why wouldn't he? <sighs> Honey, you are not going to believe what Hannah just texted me. A witch? I'm checking the nanny cams. Do you see anything? 
Everything looks fine. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. You think it's one of those phases? A hormonal thing? Maybe. I don't know. I think she's just testing us these last few weeks. She's been acting so different. It's just not like her. I don't know what to do. Let's just enjoy our date, enjoy this meal, and then we'll go home and deal with it later, okay? she's doing. Don't worry. I'll get you out. I'm afraid the only place your brother is going is into the oven. Don't just sit there. Make yourself useful and go check the oven. I'm not going to help you kill my brother. Watch your tongue, little girl, or I'll cut it out. I know this is hard for you, but I need to ask you some difficult questions. The story your daughter told is a little hard to believe. What are you saying, Detective? That she's lying? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just trying to figure out what happened here. How well did you know Mrs. Grimm? We didn't know her at all. A friend recommended her. A regular sitter went out of town. She seemed nice. Was there any indication that something was wrong? Well, Hannah did text us and ask us to come home, but... Well, I thought she was just being dramatic. I checked the nanny cam and everything was fine. The nanny cam? Is it recorded? Yes. How can I see it? On the laptop, just pull it up on the security server. You should be able to see it. Hannah, can you tell me what happened? Well, the babysitter seemed like a nice old lady. She even tried to get me to bake cookies with her, but she wasn't nice at all. And what do you mean by that? Uh, did she try to hurt you? Yes, she set my room on fire. She set your room on fire? And what happened next? Well, next thing I remember was waking up on the kitchen floor. She had Greg locked in a cage and she was looking through her spell book. She was going to eat him. H who? The witch. The babysitter was a witch. That's what I've been trying to tell you. She was going to kill Greg. I had to do something. <gasps> <laughs> Hannah, who is Greg? My brother. And where is your brother now? He's right there. <laughs> I have to admit, this was a weird case. I don't know what to tell you, Graham.
home priest. Death has come for the good detective Harry. Be gone, demon. The Lord commands it. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, leave this holy place. Do not interfere. I command you to leave this holy place. I do not spare you as I did your father. Here. What's going on? Wakey, wakey, piggy, piggy. What do you want? You know what I want. Don't play games with me, man. I don't keep any cash here, all right? What I have is in my wallet. Take that and take the gun. That's all I have. I told you not to mess with me. Where is it? I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe this will remind you. You know, the clock tick tock, tick tock. Where is it? Tell me where it is. I don't know. Did you get that? This? I got this from your sweet little dead dog. <laughs> your dog didn't even try to fight me. She just cried and cried, Daddy, Daddy. But Daddy didn't come rescue her, did he? 
You should have seen her eyes when I stuck my blade deep inside her. I'll kill you, son of a bitch! I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you! No, I'm gonna kill you with the same knife I stuck into your bitch daughter. Time to die, pig. Stop! Jeremy. You? This is what you want? Come and get it. Give it back, bitch. It's mine! Don't touch her! Jenny, run! Get hurt, understand? Your dad took something from me, and I want it back. I want my clock back. Tell me where it is. Daddy! Oh, that was stupid, little girl. That was real stupid, and it's a shame, too. You smell so good. I can't kill you, but I can kill your daddy. Sorry, Jenny. I should have been there for you. But I can be there with you now. No, Daddy, it's not your fault. I didn't save you. I didn't. You did save me, Daddy. You just don't know it yet. I miss you, Jenny. I miss you and your mom so much. We miss you too, Daddy. And we'll be together soon when the time is right. Don't leave, Jenny. Please don't leave. I'm not ready to let you go yet. I'm never leaving you, Daddy. I'll always be with you. Always. Grant! Let me help you. What? Tell me what's going on! You better hurry. Time is running out. <laughs> it's Jenny. I have to stop it. Stop what? Grab! Did he hurt you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Graham! I'm here, Coop. Jesus. You guys okay? What the hell happened? I need to talk to Coop a minute. I'll just be in the next room, okay? I love you, honey. So, so much. I want you to know that. I love you too, Daddy. Coop. I need you to call this in and stay with Jenny until I get back. What? Graham, what the hell are you talking about? You can't leave, you just shot someone. Just, and, and what about Jenny? Just trust me, Coop. I do trust you, but I need to know what the hell you're about to do. It's the clock. The 
Reese was right. I have to destroy it. Cram. How do you think I knew Jenny was in danger? The clock told me. It, it showed me. It showed me a future without Jenny. A future where she was... Where this guy got to her first. I saw the autopsy report, Coop. Photos. But I was able to stop that from happening. I was able to save her. But... But why... Why would it help you? I made a deal with it. I offered it my soul for the life of Jenny. I, I, I gotta go coop. Take care of her. Graham! I knew you'd come. You're a strong man with a strong soul. I'm not so sure about that, Father. I prepared a spot in the cemetery, hallowed ground, where we'll end this nightmare. Give it to me. The priest can't save you. Your soul is mine. Do not listen to it. It has the tongue of a serpent. You can hear it? Yes. What the hell is that thing, Father? When I returned to my rectory, I went through book after book looking for clues. Finally, I found an image of the seal of death. The image you see on the face of the clock is the mark of death itself. You see, I've discovered that the clock is but one of four unholy objects anointed with the blood of Jesus Christ, infused with the blood of God himself. The Old Testament warned us of these four objects. The crown of thorns sat high upon the head of Christ in conquest. The dry, dead wood of the crucifix represented famine. The Roman soldier's spear represented war. The spikes that nailed him to the cross, they were... Death. The four horsemen of the apocalypse? Exactly. They were objects, not men. This clock was one of those objects, made from the iron spikes that crucified Jesus. Are you to perform an exorcism? No, it would be useless in this case. Countless souls and demons are trapped within it. What are we going to do then? We have to obliterate it. Wipe it from existence with this. Holy <laughs> You think you can destroy us with holy water? No more pathetic than we thought. Well, it's not holy water. It's a solution of hydrofluoric and sulfuric acid that I have also blessed. <laughs> You. Theology wasn't all I studied at university.